right, right on there. I think that's that's a great spot for uh, science. Just kind of make it rain on their flag. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Look at his body. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Ravenfield. That's right, because it came out today, I decided to hit you with the double whammy, the one-two little surprise here, and today's surprise is gonna be pretty great. It's gonna be the four secret weapons in this update, and boy, oh boy, are they awesome. We're gonna go ahead, unlock all of them, fiddle around with them a little bit, and then in the coming days, we'll have more dedicated videos to each one, and actually really start showing up. But in the meantime, I hope you guys do enjoy. So we're just gonna be hopping into, uh, I mean, relatively normal games, and I will be showing you the amazingness. So first off is this one. Um, yeah, Island. I think this one has the HMG. Oh, no, 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 they're taking the helicopter. I was going to take that. No, no, bad. Get out. Get out. I was going to take that. You dick. Stop. What the fat? Take two. We got to get there quicker than everyone else. Okay, perfect, perfect. We got the helicopter. We got to get going. So where you're going to want to head for this one is if you take a look at this beautiful thing and probably known as a map over in one of the tucked away corners of the map that no one gives a flying shit about. Except me because I'm literally flying over there and I'm an awful helicopter pilot who's probably going to crash. But it's for the greater good because right about here, and we are getting shot at unfortunately, but right here. Boom! Th Ow! I'm dead. <laughs> well, the good news is we should be able- it is unlocked here, so we picked it up. Uh, so where that was, it was right around there where my mouse is. But that- there's- each of these, there's a secret thing. And here we have the HMG. Short for heavy machine gun, I think. I think isn't part of it, that's just- that- cause I'm not- no, I know it's heavy machine gun, and this thing- is heavy as hell. If you look in the lower left hand corner, you will be able to see the fact that it has uh, infinite, infinite ammo. The only thing you have to worry about with it is overheating. So hopefully we can get a little bit of run, a little bit of burn on this thing, actually shoot some things. And this thing is very good at shooting a lot of things, but look at this thing. Listen to that. And yeah, this thing, it keeps going. The one thing you got to worry about is overheating as you can see there. And, uh, is this is this an enemy helicopter we could uh, do some science on? Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's, uh, it was already going down. Well, you were seeing a couple hit markers there, hopefully. But this thing is pretty good at vehicular damage too. Look at that! Boom! Couple shots. You got the little little pansy little ATV going down. It's awesome. And after you unlock each of these once, they should be permanently in your arsenal. You'll be able to use like you saw. I unlocked the HMG. And I, I picked it up, right? But, oh, look at this. Look at them just- Ah, they're getting mowed down! I think this thing might even be like a little bit- Small bit of splash damage. With like what it's able to do. Look at- Let's, let's just take out a helicopter real quick. Cause why the hell not? Cause we have the HMG, baby! Okay, we, we have a little bit of help from our explosive friends and the AA gun. But this thing is pretty good. St ow, ow, what's shooting me? What's shooting me? What's you shooting me? What's you shooting at, boy? Who's shooting at me? Nah, nah, nah. We ain't having none of that, but... I don't know. I'm loving this thing. I love how, like, it's even, like, on a little bit of a tilt, but you can see... This thing's got good range. We were able to kill that man from afar. Also, we are using the box models. Uh, we- I'll probably just switch back to normal models after this. But I did want to demonstrate, use this thing a little bit. Before we move on to the next one, I'm also gonna just turn on the normal models, maybe because you guys like them more. But there you have the HMG. That is how you get it. It's the one found on Island. Now! Nah. We got three more maps to get to Sunny Jambos, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then after we unlock all of them, we're gonna hop into one a uh, bit bigger of a match and kind of start showing off each of them. So here we have Dust Bowl. All right, this one you're probably gonna want another. You're gonna want to grab something that flies, either a helicopter, a plane, one of the two. And then as soon as you deploy, which hopefully happens, just don't steal my plane. I will murder you. I will murder all of you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They know to respect me. They know I got the HMG. Another cool thing I'm pretty sure about too, don't quote me. Uh, but another cool thing, also where we're going to be heading to, I think I've actually seen it in some prior videos. But there is an oasis out this ways. And this oasis has some very cool secrets. So it's pretty easy to tell, it's just an oasis a little bit to the north of the map. There you can see us on the actual map. And we will eject! Beautiful. Ow. Okay, maybe not as beautiful, but still pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, this is how you find it. And I think after you unlock each of these, uh, actual people in the, uh, your, your, uh, 
Hydra. Oh my God, this thing is cool. Uh, I think everyone else is actually allowed to u utilize these things, you know? Like they'll actually unlock them. Like, I mean, the rest of the bots can actually start using these. But here we got the Hydra. It looks awfully like the Javelin from uh, from Modern Warfare 2. And oh, look at that. We can start locking onto a plane. Oh, we got the squares. Oh my God. It sends six freaking missiles after him. And it was, that. wow, that was, it totally missed. That's, that's disappointing. Maybe we have to keep the lock going or something. But it's shooting. It's a little bit, it's, it's trying its best. It kind of sucks when it comes to hitting planes. It, it, yeah, you can see it's. It's whiffing pretty hard, and we totally just ran out of ammo, so uh, I don't actually have any way of killing myself. Never mind! Oh, and there you go, the HMG does do a little bit of splash damage, but I think this thing should be unlocked. Uh, there we have the dagger, the scapel, but the hydra is like the scapel, the javelin, except it shoots a swarm, and it's amazing. So hopefully we could, what I want to do here is shoot a couple of uh, enemy helicopters, or potentially even, I don't even, that might be a friendly, I don't care! I need the swarm missiles to do their thing! Look at that, so you could start doing some evasive maneuvers, could work out. I think that's a friendly. You can lock on anything with this, so definitely be careful, but look at that swarm. Boom! Boom! Down it goes, and dude, these weapons are so insane, I love them! The H- Holy crap! Was that a tank that just sniped that thing out the air? That was insane. Okay, so I mean, I guess we could continue trying to like respawn a little bit, but there you have the Hydra and it is red. That's how you can tell this is not to be trifled with. If you ever see like, it's the only weapon that's outlined in red. So yeah, this is the probably, cause it's literally red and I had to burp. Ugh. Hopefully they at least throw some more things in the air, but uh, we can actually, by the looks of it, you don't have to lock on, you can fire anywhere, <laughs> that's right, you don't have to lock on. It's recommended you lock on, you know, because it's got some targeting systems, but oh, speaking of targeting, what's up baby, I don't appreciate you shooting my friends, and oh my god, I like how they all aim downwards afterwards too. But you do have to be a bit careful with how you aim it, because I think once they zoom, it's not like the javelin in uh, Modern Warfare 2. Where if that thing locked on, dude, it would do it would do 360 no scopes. It would make its own montage before eventually hitting you, right? And it was pretty insane. So like, it's a lot better to aim for like heads-on type of situations. But as you guys just saw, we can lock onto anywhere and send our swarm missiles anywhere. So right now the plan is I want to get up on this uh, on this little hill up here. We're gonna push push together with the boys. Hopefully make ourselves a pretty nifty position and then make it rain 50 shades of hell on these bastards down below. It's gonna be great. I'm excited about this. It's a pretty tight game so far too, but I think after we make a power play here, things ought to uh, get a little bit better. I think that's our tank over there too. Yeah, yeah, so there's gonna be a hell of an encounter here. I hope you get- oh, oh, hello, hello. Nah, it's it's not worth it. No, no, no. I want to shoot something on the ground. I want to get I want to get like some nice splash damage. Really, just what what are those noises? Oh, hello, friends. No, he's dead. Okay, not gonna shoot there. Never mind. Uh, anyone else? Oh, hello, jeep full of innocent people. Ow! Look, at that thing goes straight up in the air. Holy hell! Is that thing gonna rain hell? Jesus! <laughs> that thing shot straight up. That was insane! Okay, so I guess for ground targets, they are a little bit more uh, brutal than what I am accustomed to. There we go. Okay, let's just kind of aim ahead a little bit. Nah, we gotta aim a little bit more ahead than that. Don't worry, I got you covered. There you go. Enjoy your javelins, bro! Enjoy them! I don't even care that I ended up getting some pipe there. That was hype. Okay, okay, so there you have the second location on to numero tres, mis amigos. Instant action, we're gonna be hopping on to Temple this time. I almost discovered this one by myself, actually, a couple times ago. So we're just gonna go ahead, uh, spawn, and start making our way to where we gotta go. We'll deploy, do our thing. This one is pretty... I mean, it's, it's really not hard. We do have a little bit of a run ahead of us, and we might get shot at a little bit, uh, so... There's a reason I already almost discovered it. It's called the Waterfall. Uh, so if you guys look at the lower right of the map, that little frozen waterfall there, it's actually gonna be right by that. So I remember I went exploring outside the map thinking there's gotta be a secret. I literally, I jumped straight over it and I didn't realize it. But 
here it is and uh, we got what we came for and I think you guys are gonna like what we end up coming for this is <laughs> I think this one is definitely the most ridiculous of the four secret weapons and hopefully as more secret weapons are released and stuff I will make sure to let you guys know but how the hell did you already get here tank what wait a minute I don't I don't even know but you want to head on over to this waterfall not get shot at whichever team you are and down here voila the air horn? Get the air horns out! So, uh, we are kind of... Well, we're kind of stranded here a little bit. I think we can make our way back up. And this thing will come in handy. So this thing is not just a joke. Although it is a pretty big joke. It does have practical use. And it actually can do damage to the enemy. So hopefully we can get close to the range on it. But you can even look at that. Aiming down the sights right there. Just really aim at our air horns but if we can get a little bit close to the enemy we ought to be able to do what I'm trying to do this thing's definitely a close quarter weapon though you're not gonna have too much fun doing it from far distance yeah there you go see I'm trying to shoot these guys it's not working but if we can catch up to them come on come on yeah no don't snipe me bro oh, Jesus I just got shot mid-air dude what a, what, a, what a dick okay this might be a good opportunity for us though did I respawn with the air horn or did I I totally didn't. Okay, never mind. Let's get the air horn going. I want to show this thing off a little bit. It's definitely a bit harder to show off, but uh, there you have it too. It is one of the, uh, one of those. So you can actually have the Hydra and the air horn at the same time, which I find to be uh, pretty freaking awesome if you ask me. But if we head on over here, that should be in our three slot. Yeah. We got the air horn. We got a couple of these dudes. Hopefully they don't shoot me. Stop shooting me. Air horn! <laughs> Oh, you can see it's kind of like a blast. It doesn't do a lot of damage, unfortunately, but it's still freaking awesome and hilarious. And once you get them on the ground, oh, have fun, Sonny Jimbo. Look at this, just blasting them on their butts. Ow. Okay, never mind. I'm getting blasted in the face now, but you, you kind of get what I was going for there. And I don't know. It's awesome. It's it's hilarious. It's awesome. How did I spawn up here exactly? I don't. I don't know, but let's go with some 360 air horn! Bwah, bwah. No one to air horn, okay. But there you have it, that's what you can do with this thing. Uh, most practical? No? Most hilarious? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Most used for Modern Warfare 2 montages and sound effects? Without a doubt, without a doubt. So that's pretty awesome. And this thing in general is just pretty awesome. So uh, if you guys want, again, reminder, it is going to be on Temple right by that waterfall. Just got to drop down one level right quick. And you will be pretty pumped and pretty good to go. So let's try to get one more air horn in. Then we'll head on over for the last weapon. And again, reminder, as soon as you unlock these once, you got them for the rest. So maybe set aside 10 minutes. Not even. Maybe 5 minutes. You could definitely knock this out in 5 minutes. Unlock all of them. And all your future Ravenfield games will have 4 new tools for you and the bots to utilize which in my opinion is dope af yeah i i, I think so oh hello oh wow that guy's suicidal Bwah. Bwah. oh lean to the right Bwah. lean to the left Bwah. oh no he's got friends as you can see it does not do a lot of damage but it's got a huge splash radius and it knocks everyone straight on their ass and it's amazing but you can see how many times we've air horned these guys I think, no, he's still not dead. He's about to shoot me though. He does not appreciate the air horns. He may have busted his eardrums. That guy's dead. Oh yeah, this guy's dead too, but yeah, that guy, that guy lived pretty good. So let's hop on out of here. We're done with that. We got Unmas to go. This one is gonna be on the preview map, Archipelago. You're gonna probably want to spawn as a heads up as uh, uh, the other team or reverse, which, whichever one you want to do, because you need an airplane. And airplanes are only for this side, really. So you want to you want to hop on, hop into an airplane, all right? And thank you to the guys in the comments who started telling me that there were secret weapons, so I could start doing a little bit of research, find them out, and spread the good word to you guys. But you're gonna want to hop into one of these planes here, and if you use the sticks a little bit, you know, do your thing. Oh, ran those poor souls over. There's a thing you can do. Uh, it might take a couple tries. This is definitely the. I'd say the hardest, because you, you have to kind of kind of aim it, kind of know what you're doing, but pretty much what you're going to do is try to jump out. No! Yes! Yes! You're going to want to try to get up here in the radio controlled tower. And somewhere around here, I don't remember which floor it is exactly, 
But somewhere around here. Oh, hello, plant. Wait, that's me. Wait, what was he shooting at then? Uh, what you want to do, and this could be a bit tricky. Uh, you want to jump down exactly one floor. Okay. I think exactly one floor. And then somewhere around. Yeah, baby. The Patriot. This thing, I, to me, this reminds me of an M4, and it has a freaking hollow sight. Look at this thing. Yes. Yes. I've wanted a hollow sight for so long, and I finally have it. And this thing is no pushover. It's freaking dope. Like, honestly, look at this. Just, just mowing them down from afar. I love the hollow sight. It's, hollow sights are always good, you know? If Call of Duty has taught me anything that I should remember, it's that hollow sights are bay. And I can't believe I survived that fall. But let's go down. Let's try to rush these guys. Make use of this a little bit. Oh, mama. They are not happy with my idea. Unfortunately, I don't care if they're happy. It's my idea. I'm going to execute it. Yeah. There we go. Ow, I got shot in the back. How'd I get shot in the back? Yeah, so there you have it. I'm going to try to hop into a better map. Archipelago is not really the best map to ever show anything off on. But why don't we go ahead and play instant action. Let's just get a classic old, I don't know, island's pretty good. Let's get it. Let's make it like a hundred bot match. Nothing too loco. Let's hop on in, hit that play button. We're going to make use of that Patriots. That's what we're going to do. We got the other tools at our disposal ready to go. I'm thinking we're going to whip out the Hydra first and foremost, though, because they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna come knocking like ding dong, and I'll be like, hello, and then Hydra straight to their face. So, yeah, don't ring my doorbell. Just, just word of advice. I have Hydras at home. And that sounds bad, because I think Hydras are actually a drug. <laughs> I don't think I have those at home. I don't know. Would missile? I, I, I prefer the missiles. More explosive, more fun. <laughs> but this, 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 this annoying little obnoxious helicopter should start terrorizing our people, and we're going to do something about it. Hopefully. I don't know. Unless they're kind of getting in a firefight with each other. Sounds like they're over here. Yeah, they're right over this. Oh, is that, is that the enemy? That is the enemy. We got to fire. Fire! Boom! Down it goes, and then the rest of them. Oh my god. I'm never gonna... This Hydra might permanently be in my loadout. Because it's ridiculously amazing. And like, if you love using the Javelin or whatever the other one is, like the Dagger, uh, do yourself a favor, unlock this thing, and thank me later, Schlater. <laughs> oh, mama, what's up? That's a red? Sucks to be you, mate! Let's get, let's get those up in the air. Oh, what? They missed. Damn it. All right. We got our Patriot at least. This thing is satisfying. I don't know what it is. This is honestly probably like the best model gun in the game, in my opinion at least, because there's a hollow sight. I just love like the reload animation. It reminds me of something else I've played too. And uh, I mean, it's not going to really, it's not, see, the, this one isn't doing damage to the helicopter. The HMG, that was doing damage. This one on the other hand, also the recoil on it's kind of poopy and pretty good at my face catching stuff, but there you have the Patriots hopping the HMG a little bit. Let's deploy a little bit. Let's enjoy ourselves a little bit. Okay, okay. I actually wonder if any of these guys are using either of these guns. They should be able to. I don't know, but let's go, let's get ourselves into a bit of an encounter with the HMG. We'll mess around for a couple more minutes and we'll call it a day. Don't want to leave you guys too long here. This is the third video I'm uploading today. I haven't done three videos. I used to do three videos pretty consistently, but uh, I haven't done that in a while. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. And like I said, we're going to continue having some like dedicated gameplays to at least the primaries. At least the primaries. But in the meantime, make sure you subscribe so you get notified about those. But look at this. Look at the HMG. It's only weakness, man, is the overheating. And it's just... Amazing. You don't even have to be that accurate because of that like splash damage you guys are seeing and you can just mow people down It's amazing. It's insane. I hear helicopters. Uh, I don't see missiles in the sky Someone shot a missile And it's not a firework, but they tried shooting a missile. Oh, I hear I hear bullets right here over here Oh, Aaron over there. Oh Yeah, why don't we uh right right on there? I think that's that's a great spot for uh, science just kind of make it rain on their flag yeah! Oh my god, look at his body! <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, come on. Let's uh, let's stop overheating. We got reds to shoot. We got some damn camis. Got some camis that need some bullets up in their faces. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude. Yeah. Uh, if anything, I think the HMG is the best primary. 
Uh, the swarm missile firer, you know, the one that shoots six missiles, right? Uh, that's probably the best uh, secondary. And honestly, since you already stacked as hell, might as well have the air horn because why the hell not? You know, and after you do a sick, you know, if you do something sick like, yo, 360, and then you shoot someone, and it's like, oh, you got the hit markers. Blah, 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 blah. Don't even need a sound effects board. Just whip out your air horn. Honestly, I'm surprised air horns aren't standard military issue at this point. Like, honestly, like, listen, U.S. military. All right, I might seem like a YouTuber that doesn't know his shit. And that would seem correct, because it is correct, but... I'm telling you, if you put air horns in the military, there is gonna be an increase in people who sign up. You know how many of those quick scopers, you know, looking for their 360 montage clips? You know how many of them are gonna enlist if you provide an air horn for free? Like, that cost to benefit is, like, too high not to do. Like, the worst case, you lose out on some air horns. Best case, you double, you triple the military. You know, it's a win-win. Worst case, you just give a contract to some air horn, you know, and this could, air horns could low-key become a very lucrative business if you do this move. Uh, but back on topic, we got, you know, why don't we, I want to take out a tank with this thing. Let's do it. Let's take out the Jeep behind it first. Goodbye, Jeep. Oh, uh, yeah, I want to take out a tank real quick. So don't mind me just kind of asserting my dominance here. Hey, you can see it's smoking. I'm the only thing that's shot it yet. Wait, to make sure we don't overheat. Still smoking. Oh, shit, it's looking at me. Oh, no, it's, it's I think it's looking for an air horn. I have one of those too if you want it. Got it. Oh, nope. He didn't want the air horn. All right, well, I think that's a good point for me to end off on. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Do appreciate it a whole ton. If you liked it, make sure you hit that like button and let me know. If not, I mean, hit that dislike button and let me know. And uh, let me know which of these four guns is your favorite. I definitely want to hear that in the comment section. As much as the HMG is dope. Like, I don't know what it is, but the Patriot is just so satisfying. It's just like an M4 with a hollow sight, and it's like, the hollow sight makes me not quite moist, but something. It makes me makes me feel something. But that's going to go wrap, wrap it up for me. Thank you guys a whole ton. Have yourselves a fan-freaking-tastic day, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.